Students of the Beacon Learning Center shared and learned more about the French colonization of Grenada through cultural dance and drama on June 20th, which marked the 323rd anniversary of the historic day. Headmistress of the school, Dr. Cheryl Bishop, says after a few weeks of classroom sessions on Grenada's history, a more interactive and creative session was developed for the students. Rather than sitting down in the classroom and have a regular class, it's teaching these kids, you know, talk and talk. Um, I am a creative person, um, I'm a professional dance choreographer and, 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 and tutor as well and so I thought it was good for us to demonstrate with the creative arts because there is power in the creative arts, right? And so I thought that coming and demonstrate the coming of the, of, of the French, right? Dramatizing it, role playing some of what, what may have happened that more interest would be created in children's mind as well as they are going to retain what was done here today rather than if I was in the classroom, just chalk and talk. The activities took place at the site of a monument marking the historic day at Kirani James Boulevard, which was erected by the school over 10 years ago. Today marks 373 years since the French colonized Grenada. And we thought it was a good, a good day, a good occasion for us to come and to share with Grenadians to create the awareness. Because I mean, I don't think much people are thinking of, you know, really thinking of what has happened since three years ago. And in addition, because we established this monument here 23 years ago, we wanted to make sure that people understand that this, that, that our first town, Port Louis, was established by the French. And it was within this area it took place. Bishop spoke of the importance of knowing our history and passing it on to the younger generation. History is alive, it's, it's us. And if we're not being careful, um, if we don't know our history, right, if we're not able to align what happened hundreds of years ago to what's happening now, then we'll be, we'll be players in our own demise. And we can't afford that. And somehow, as I said, I think the spirit of Dupakaism seems to be still existing. And so we cannot continue in that same vein. And so I want our children to see it. To see, yes, we have a, we must preserve our cultural heritage, but we must understand and see through it, yeah, and how we would, would sustain it, um, how they can be, they can bring about the kind of change we're talking about. As if we want transformation, we must know our history, we must understand what is happening. And so I trust that today, that many of them, you know, they would we get back to school. We are going to get them to write now their own, the reflection as to what happened today. For GBN News, I am Rena Pet Thomas reporting.